All right. Good evening and welcome. We are back. It's uh, we had to take a week off uh, last week, but we're back. What's up, Matt? Welcome, welcome back. It is uh, it is good to see everyone again. Um, how was your Christmas and New Year's? Hopefully it went well, uh, or as well as can be. Um, so this week, a hey, wolf, wolf, what is up, my friend? How are you doing? How was your week? How was your Christmas? How was your New Year? Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to 2024. Um, unfortunately, we had to take last week off uh, for, uh, for personal reasons, but I am back. And we are ready to go. I am going to start rolling the footage now. And we are starting off looking at the Iowa class. And <clears throat> let's see, joining us this week uh, on the shelf, we have USS North Carolina, the showboat up top. We have the big U, SS United States. We have USS Arizona. We have USS New Orleans, we have the Britannic, and up there is my teak piece of the uh, wooden deck from the USS Alabama, the novel Dead Wake, Last Voyage of the Lusitania, and one of my Christmas presents right there in the background. I finally got this book, On a Sea of Glass. It is like the be-all, end-all book on the Titanic. Uh, I have started reading it, but um, I have not uh, really put a dent in it yet. It's it's a pretty big book. So uh, that is everything that's on the shelf this week. I'm going to show you guys uh, one of my other Christmas presents real quick. I know, of course, if you've been on the Discord, you've seen this already, but here it is. BB-35. The USS Texas. Super excited about that. Can't wait to get started on that thing. Uh, Wolf says, my Christmas and New Year's were great. I'm glad to hear that, Wolf. Uh, very glad to hear that. Uh, Matt, are you using the mic? Uh, I do. I have. I finally moved it over to, <laughs> to the desk, Matt, but I have not hooked it yet. Uh, up yet. I have... Uh, I really got to just take a day and sit down and figure out how to disable the microphone that's on the camera and use that mic. And I just haven't had time to mess with it. With the holidays, everything's just been going kind of crazy. But we're getting back into our normal swing of things. So, um, you know, I will definitely be taking a look into it. Uh, Wolf says, you're going to love it. Great kit, but the photo etch is insane. Yeah, I did open the kit up and take a look at it, and I saw all the photo etch in it, and uh, yeah, it's um, it's going to be interesting. So uh, I am doing a, 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 a trial run in a very, very small way with uh, photo etch. Uh, for those of you that are on the Discord, you know that... Uh, the Texas is not the only model I'm kicking off 2024 with. I will also be building uh, the Olympic that you've been seeing here uh, on the past few streams, as well as a Titanic in the same model or same scale. And eventually, I will also be building a Britannic or a Titanic conversion into Britannic in that same scale. So I'm going to order another Titanic model exactly like the one I just got. And that is going to become Britannic. And uh, the Titanic, uh, I bought the wooden decks, and it has photo etch with it. So, um, I mean, it, it's only stairs. It's just small stairs that are on the exterior of the ship. But it's a good way for me to kind of get my feet wet before I really jump into the Texas and deal with that massive amount of photo etch that thing has. Uh, Matt, yeah, I didn't want to mess with your audio settings too much. Yeah, well, we're going to figure it out, Matt. I just, um, again, with the holidays, I've just not had time. Oh, excuse me. But 
maybe one day when I need I need a day where I could just sit down and play with it um, and not know I'm not going to mess anything up. That's that's my biggest concern. I don't want to uh, screw up anything that's going to cause problems for the live stream. Uh, but we'll figure it out. <clears throat> so yeah, that's where I'm at with the model building. So in fact, I will show you the, um, let me go grab the box for the, uh, the Titanic that I got. I'll be right back. Okay, so, and this was not a Christmas present. This is something that actually just came in. This is the Revell 1700 Titanic, and that will go hand in hand with my 1 to 700 Olympic. And it's my dream to have all three Olympic class ships in the same scale, and that's that is the uh, the purpose of buying another Titanic model. And again, I'll be getting another one after this, and that one will be converted into Britannic. There's, um, there is some 3D printed parts uh, for Britannic that I have ordered. I've gotten uh, one set of them in. There's like a, four different pieces that help you um, in making the, uh, the Britannic conversion. So, uh, <laughs> Wolf, it's so cool you have Olympic, right? <laughs> I mean, man, I got to tell you, and like, like I just said, when I first got into this whole model building thing, that was my goal from day one. I wanted all three Olympians. I had to have copies of all three Olympians. And for the longest time, it didn't seem like it was possible. For the better part of a year, I was searching for Olympic. And then one finally popped up, I think like, what, three months ago, something like that? So that's when it uh, that's when that one became a reality, and then I see more people. Uh, well, not more people, but someone. Um, I want to say in uh, someone I met in Ty Honor and Glory's Discord. Uh, they pointed it out to me or showed me a place where I can get the three D parts I need to make a Britannic conversion, but it's only on the Titanic one to seven hundred model, I believe. So it made sense to buy those parts and then I'll have two of the three sisters in one of 700 and then well while I'm at it let's just do Titanic again and I'll finally have my uh, my dream of all three Olympians together now uh, one that's been nearly impossible to find a model of is Lusitania um, I've been looking uh, for her almost as long as I've been looking for um, Olympic and anyway, uh, there are models of Lucy on eBay that I've seen, but you know, it's most of them are one to three fifty scale, and they want like three hundred bucks for them. Um, I'm not spending that much on a kit. I'm ju I'm just not doing it. Uh, Wolf, it's odd Olympic isn't still being made by Ravel since it's the same as their Titanic. I mean, essentially, yes. And I haven't looked deep, deep into it yet, uh, like as in taking uh, parts out from each and putting them side by side. I don't want to confuse them and get them mixed up in case they're different. But um, I have a feeling that a lot of the parts are going to be interchangeable. Um I mean, the hull is the hull on the two ships is obviously different because uh, Olympics A deck and B deck promenades were completely opened up, whereas Titanic, uh, as you know, uh, had the uh, the front half of uh, Titanic's A deck where it had those windows on it, and B deck uh, there was hardly any open space on B deck on Titanic because of. Uh, all the parlor suites and they they modified B deck because what they realized um, with uh, oh, let me catch up on chat here there might be a paper model of Lucy yeah that's one thing I can look into um, there's definitely Queen Elizabeth and Normandy yeah I've seen those 
Uh, my internet, Matt says, my internet crashed. I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, Wolf, and the ship that saved Titanic survivors. Uh, that would be Carpathia. <clears throat> but um, anyway, um, going back to this for a sec, one thing that uh, White Star realized after Olympic uh, set sail was they did not need that much promenade space on the ship. And like I said, Olympic, the A deck and the B deck were completely open, and they were all promenade. So what they did on Titanic to make it different, especially on B deck, was uh, they enclosed the vast majority of B deck, and they added more rooms. They made private promenades on some of the rooms. Um, if you've seen the movie and you remember it, uh, the, Cam the James Cameron movie, uh, in the beginning of the movie, uh, Rose and her gang are, um, they're getting ready to get on the ship and they tell uh, the, uh, the baggage guy, or whatever you call it, um, that all their luggage goes into Parlo Suites B-52, 54, and 56. Well, those were real cabins on Titanic, although I think in the movie they portrayed those cabins on the starboard side, but they were actually on the port side. And... Those cabins in real life belonged uh, to Bruce Ismay. So, again, that just it just uh, shows uh, some of the changes they made between the two ships. That's the that's why I mentioned all that. A um, few other uh, differences, uh, mostly, but that's mostly where the differences are between A deck and B deck. That's where you can really tell the two ships apart. <clears throat> so yeah, I know I kind of rambled on for a bit, but hey, it's histo chat, right? We're talking history here, and we're looking at the Iowa. So um, Wolf, share uh, again which models did you get for Christmas? Matt, while you're at it uh, too, did you get any cool stuff for Christmas? I'm interested in seeing what everybody got for Christmas. Um, I got the USS Texas model I just showed you guys. I got uh, on a sea of glass right there. I got this really cool blanket that has uh, all, a bunch of different ships on it, mostly warships. And it's like a custom made one. Got a, uh, a custom made LSU cup, go Tigers. What else did I get? Um, Try to think, what else did I get for Christmas? Hmm. That might be everything. I, I can't think of anything else. Of course, somebody will be mad if I forgot to mention their game. Oh, I got some Star Wars shirts, too. Do you guys see the, um, the trailer for that new Star Wars show that's going to be coming out while I'm thinking about that? See, Matt, did we lose you again? I think we're about to lose the um, the Iowa in that last match. I don't rem I don't recall if we did or not, but uh, we got some more Iowa footage going on here. <clears throat> all right, so here's what Wolf got. Uh, these are all models. Uh, USS California, your favorite ship. Uh, I do remember you saying you got uh, the California. California is going to be on my list, but uh, it's it's down the line. Uh, the Cleveland, Salem, a HMS Invincible, and as I recall, Invincible wasn't so invincible. Um, the Iron Duke, the Zulu, and SMS Durfinger. Uh, Wolf says only ship I wanted I didn't that I didn't get was USS Baltimore. Hmm. I don't remember what that one looks like, but I'm I'm I mean I, I'm certain that you posted pictures of those um, in the Discord before. It'd be a dream of mine at some point this year to actually get on one of the Iowas. 
Of course, um, Big Whiskey is the closest Iowa class ship to me. So she'd more than likely be the one that I check out first. And uh, speaking of which, um, Wolf, did you notice the thumbnail for uh, for this week's video? If you didn't, uh, you know it's always a ship. I'll give you a hint uh, which uh, which ship it is. Temper, temper. <laughs> one of the greatest stories. I, I I love that story about Big Whiskey. Big Whiskey, of course, being the USS Wisconsin. They one of the Iowa's, New Jersey is going into dry dock this coming year. I saw something about it um, on their Facebook page. And of course, um, one of my absolute favorite ships of all time, USS Kid, is supposed to be going into dry dock this year. Um, yeah, Wolf, USS Wisconsin. That's right. Oh, I was getting torqued right here. That was a hard hit. But, um, yeah, kids going into dry dock this year, um, and it has long been my plans. As soon as I find out the date that that is going to physically happen, I have full intentions of being in Baton Rouge that day. And I will be getting footage of that happening. Hopefully, I can live stream it, but I'm not promising anything on that yet. But in any event, we will be getting footage of that. Matt says, got myself a medium format camera. Sweet. Have you started messing with, uh, with your camera yet? Got to finish uh, editing up that photo shoot that I did uh, last weekend as well. I've only got a, uh, like three or four photos left to finish that. I'm going to grab a quick drink of water. Uh, guys, I will be right back. I'll just keep this over here by me instead of having to get up and go to the fridge again. <clears throat> yeah, I see uh, you posted it in the in the Discord, uh, Wolf. I will take a look at that as soon as uh, the stream is over. Look at that! I would just took four torps again, but like they say in the battleship movie, you will not sink this battleship. Matt says, I bought a speaker for my truck. I got my own gifts this year. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Uh, well, Baltimore has an interesting story during the Korean War. Well, uh, I mean, this is Histochat. Uh, Wolf, share that story with us. Because um, I'll be honest with you, um, I don't, you might have told me the story before, and I'm just not remembering it off the top of my head, but let's hear it. And we, again, checking out the Iowa uh, in the meantime. I forget what other ships I logged, I loaded up for tonight. Um, also, we should be getting some updates soon for uh, from uh, Mike Brady's Grand Voyage game. Of course, we know it's going to start off with uh, the Empress of Ireland, uh, the Laconia, which is a ship I'm not very familiar with, and an airship. And he has already announced that uh, Aquitania is going to be in the game at some point, too. Matt says, are you reading my messages? Uh, yes, of course I am. Are you not hearing me read your messages, Matt? Hmm. 
I mean, are we having some audio issues that I'm not aware of? Um, if you guys can't hear me, uh, please let me know. I mean, I, I assume you guys are because I'm getting responses from Wolf. But uh, Matt, if you're not hearing me, um, let me know. <clears throat> All right, so here's our story on the Baltimore um, from Wolf. He says, North Korea has on display a torpedo boat that, according to them, sunk the Baltimore, however, was in reserve when that happened. Okay. Oh, Matt, you, oh, you asked if I was AFK, and I replied and didn't hear you reply. Okay. No worries, just a little miscommunication there. Uh, might be your internet. Maybe. Well, she was, com she was recommissioned a year after it was said that she was sunk. So um, North Korea thought they sunk. The okay, I, and I think I do remember this story now that you're, uh, you're mentioning this. North Korea sunk, claimed to have sunk uh, this ship, but in reality, they did not. I also kind of reminds me of a certain ridiculous theory involving some uh, two certain ocean liners that I happen to be a major fan of. Hmm. Ah. I'm trying to remember what other... Uh, what other ships here are on the thing, but I guess we'll get to that when the time comes. So, um, anyway, Wolf, have you started building uh, any of the models that you got yet for Christmas? Uh, I have not because, again, Texas is the only one that I got for Christmas, and I'm waiting to speak to some, uh, some guys that I'm in a modeling group uh, with uh, locally, the... Uh, They've been building models way longer than I have, and um, they can point me in the right direction when it comes to, like, the photo etching and all that stuff. I also need to get or, or try to get the, uh, the correct blue for the Texas, which would be uh, measure 21. I've got something that I think is close, but I'm not 100% certain. So, yeah, my, uh, our little group uh, will have a meeting, um, not tomorrow, but the following Saturday, and I will be able to ask them those questions and show them the kit in person so they can see, uh, you know, what the kit entails. And basically, um, I want to formulate like a, a plan of attack, uh, for lack of better words, to... Um, or get a game plan on how to approach this build. I mean, Titanic, I've got a pretty good idea. I've done Titanic. This is my third go around with Titanic. So I'm not too worried about Titanic, but Titanic is also a dry run for Olympic as well. Because if I mess up Titanic, I can always get another one. There's plenty of Titanic models out there, but not the case for Olympic. So any lessons or mistakes learned from building Titanic I can apply to Olympics so there aren't any issues when the time comes to build that model. Hmm. Anyway, uh, Wolf, uh, I asked Wolf if he started building any of his models yet. He says, I haven't, though I did start Cali, but they want me to cut two sides of the hull off and I don't want to do that right now, so I put it up. Does it explain, do they explain why they want you to cut up the hull? I mean, why Why would they make um, a kit where they want you to cut up the hull as a means of building it? I'm a, I'm, I'm a bit confused by that. Now you're you're awfully quiet right now. What 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 do you got going on?
you know, probably end up building all three of those models at the same time, knowing me. Mm -mm, ship on fire. Uh, you, you, you seem kind of quiet this evening. I'll have to get Nathan in here and talk about some cars. <laughs> Wolf, uh, because two, uh, concerning his California model, because two anti-aircraft gun placements can't lay on the ship properly if you don't cut it. I wonder why they designed it that way. Who was the manufacturer of that model? Was it, uh, was it Trumpeter, uh, Ravel, uh, someone else? Who built the model? Or not who built the model, but uh, who manufactured it? Oops, shot straight into a mountain. <laughs> Matt, he never makes up his mind on what he wants. Uh, very true. Very true. Oh, I did get something new uh, this week. It is not. Uh, it was not a Christmas present. Got the new iPhone 15, and uh, it was a bit overdue for me to get a phone. Um, my current phone, prior to getting this, was the uh, the XR. Uh, it was five years old. It was really. Um, lagging with the last update i mean and lagging when i say the uh, the photo app would even freeze you try to look at a photo and it would just freeze up the phone so um it was getting a bit outdated it was time to get a new phone so um that's what i got it's just a regular iphone 15 it's not the uh the um the big fancy pro one or whatever Matt, I guess I'll have to find a model to be honest. I'm just thinking about going shoot with my Mamiya camera again. Uh, and he just saw my just saw my phone. Nice. Hey, yes, sir. It is very nice. Uh, Wolf, the entire hull seems to be a reuse of the Tennessee hull, and the bottom red part was a reuse of USS Colorado's, and the kit is by Trumpeter. Well, it's still got to be a decent kit, I would imagine. Um, I mean, I've... Granted, I've only built uh, two trumpeters thus far, I mean, but there neither one was a crappy kit by any means. Um, the um, the two that I built was the New Orleans and uh, USS the Sullivans, which I've converted into the USS Kid. Uh, I'm still waiting on my decals uh, to finish that particular model. So right now she's just kind of hanging around on my build table with not much else going on. I'm eventually going to put some shelves behind me too on the wall. That way we can see even more of my uh, of my models on uh, on display besides what just appears here on the shelf. Mr. Golden, how are you, sir? How, how is your evening going? How was your Christmas? How was your New Year? Happy New Year. Did you get any cool gifts this year? Uh, Wolf, it's a good-looking kit. They just got cheap with it. Well, that's a bummer. But as long as it comes out, you know, looking like the ship it's supposed to look like. I mean, look, the Arizona there, that Ravel kit, that was awful. And I think it turned out pretty good, all things considered. So, I mean, you can really make it work if you if you put the work into it, but you've got to put the work into it. Matt, I don't know if um I don't know if building a kit is going to be your thing. I mean, I'm not saying it wouldn't um a wolf it seems accurate to a real one. Well, in, in the end that's in, in the end that's all that matters, right? Even if they are a pain in the butt, if they come out looking the way you want it to in the end, that's the biggest deal. That's another reason why I'm I'm not 
in a, a, a massive rush to start on the Texas, I want to find the correct paint before I start assembling her. Well, says, though I can't really confirm because I have to rely on black and white photos. Well, here's the thing uh, with, uh, with all these old ships, um, and uh, it applies to ocean liners too. Um, this, well, ocean, uh, ships and ocean liners that had long careers, I should say. Uh, you know, their paint schemes changed a lot over the years. Um, we know Olympics did uh, a number of times. Uh, Arizona was, I think, uh, the same age as uh, that Olympic was uh, when it got attacked. So, like, when Olympic got scrapped, she was 24 years, uh, years old. And I think Arizona was that same age as the time uh, of Pearl Harbor. And the ship underwent different paint schemes throughout her life. Uh, Texas, the same. So, really, um, do you ever really get it 100% accurate? I mean, you can get it accurate to what you're going for. And, and what I mean is the way they're painting the USS Texas right now, uh, according to their Facebook page, is um, they are matching her to the paint scheme she had, I want to say, in 1945 which would not be her original paint scheme. So since that's what they're trying to do, that's what I'm going to try and do with mine. Let's see. Uh, Mr. Golden, all good. Happy New Year. I got the RMX, uh, excuse me, RMX, the Airfix RMS Queen Elizabeth at Christmas. Happy with that. Congratulations on that, sir. Um, I would love to see that when you're done with it. Um, Wow. And I know for a fact that model isn't exactly cheap because I've seen some on eBay and um, that's a serious kit. So uh, I haven't seen any of your work yet on your kits, but I, I know, you know, I'm sure you're going to do a great job on that. Uh, well, and the, the World of Warships model. Yeah, the Texas in World of Warships. Well, it looks and that's what Texas uh, in the game looks like. To, to what they're doing in real life, except they're not painting the hull red on the real ship. I asked them about that when I did the dry dock tour. It's basically going to be the um, the measure 21 blue, and the rest of the lower hull is going to be all black. I wanted to ask them why they were doing that, but I don't remember if I did or not. Uh, Wolf, I also just remembered my paper model arrived, but I can't build it because the instructions are text and it's in Polish. <laughs> so you're going to have to scour the internet for an English translation. Good luck with that. <laughs> if we have anyone who's Polish that ever, uh, well, look, 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 uh, guy uh, came out of his uh, parachuted into the water. If we ever get anyone uh, from Poland uh, on the channel or in the Discord, you know, maybe you can talk to them. Yeah, somebody was telling me about uh, the paper models today, and I want to say um, Mike Brady's channel or his Discord. He's put out some good Titanic videos uh, the past few weeks. Um, I think last night I watched his video um, on uh, the breakup, which was about 50 minutes long, I believe. And he did, I mean, he's probably my favorite YouTuber because he does such a great job on all of his videos. And his, his knowledge of the ships is just overwhelming. Well, it says, I need to find a translation or look for someone who knows Polish to help me, <laughs> right? Hopefully, um, you can find, um, I don't know, maybe just search the web, see if you can find an English um, instruction manual or maybe contact the manufacturer and see if they have an English manual. Hmm. Doggone yawning. 
Uh, so, Mr. Golden, have you started on that Queen uh, Elizabeth yet? So I was just showing uh, before you got here, um, I recently started on uh, this 1 to 700 Titanic, which was not a Christmas present, but uh, I'll actually be building two of those. One's going to be Titanic. One's going to be a uh, conversion to Britannic. My Christmas present was this big boy right here. The Trumpeter 1 to 350 USS Texas. I'm trying to fit it on the screen here. Lots of photo action. I don't know if you can see this on the side of the box. Yeah. It's got these three huge sheets of photo etching. And this is going to be my very first time messing with photo etching. So I'm definitely going to, going to be consulting. Uh, excuse me. Consulting some people. Um, I'm in a local uh, modeling group in real life. And um, I'm going to be consulting them as to uh, getting like a game plan for how to build that ship. Because uh, I, I am completely new to, uh, to photo etching. Uh, Wolf. Uh, what also doesn't help about the ship is it has the same name as another Russian warship that's way more popular, and it's also a battleship. Hmm. Well... On the plus side, um, at least you knew which ship to get. <laughs> uh, Golden says, I've put the two hull halves together and done some filing and sanding, but going to finish the Queen Mary first. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I My Queen, of course, uh, my Queen Mary is, uh, of course, finished. That was one of the models I built last year. Uh, it's one of the ones that I feel like I did the best job on, too. Uh, I don't have her here on the shelf this week, but uh, she has been on the stream uh, many times in the past. She will be in the future. In fact, I think she was on the last stream. In fact, I know she was on the last stream. Uh, Matt, oh, I did get a blowtorch. Going to try a wood-burning technique I've seen online. Hmm. Now you're going to have me thinking of ways to incorporate a blowtorch into a photo shoot. <laughs> That's going to happen. Yeah, I'll probably end up building, um, Mr. Golden, I'll end, I was telling them earlier, I'll probably end up building all three of those models at the same time. Um, Titanic, Olympic, and the Texas. But uh, tomorrow, um, my plan is to uh, start priming uh, all the, the uh, Titanic parts for painting. And Matt says, ha ha, let's do it. Uh, Christina wants to do a Valentine's photo shoot. Oh, that's nice. Uh It's going to be interesting to see what ideas she will come up with for a photo shoot. She's always got some intriguing ideas. And our Iowa is burning up here. And I have, I have, have you, have any of you guys been playing Warships lately? I have not played, um, probably in over a month now the uh the holidays just kind of you know you guys know how holidays are when, when christmas and new year's all that stuff rolls around it just kind of throws your normal routine completely out of whack so hopefully um i'll be able to play that some more i've also started playing uh or i've been i played a little bit of american truck sim as well uh, Matt says, I haven't played in a bit. Yeah, I'm the same way. Um, I go in spurts with warships. Um, sometimes I, I go and I, I want to play almost every day, and then I get tired of it for a minute. 
So yeah, I get tired of it for a minute and I, I, I put it down for a little while, but I always find my way back to it. A wolf says, my tablet died, so I can't play it, sadly, and my phone is too small. Yeah, I, honestly, and I, I don't even know how anyone plays this game on a, uh, a mobile device or a tablet or, or a, um, ah, here we go. We're changing ships. We have the North Carolina. Haha, <laughs> look at that. That was not that was not intentional. I didn't even realize that. I honestly, I just picked some random ships. Well, this is actually one we've already watched before, but um, I did not realize the North Carolina was in here. So cool coincidence. But uh, yeah, I don't even know how anyone plays this game on a on a console with a controller. Like I got to have a mouse and a keyboard to play this game. Uh, Wolf, it's really funny how my tablet decided to mess up right after Christmas. <laughs> I'll bet. If only it would have been like a week earlier, you could have asked for a new tablet for Christmas. Uh, Matt saying, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I got to have the mouse and keyboard for this. Huh. But, um, anyway. Sorry, I gotta keep turning around and yelling. I know you guys don't want to see that on camera. But it's good to see the North Carolina again. It's haven't seen uh, in gameplay footage on stream in a while. But yeah, I, I stopped playing um, Warships for a bit. I started playing um, American Truck Sim, which was another game I played a whole bunch, and I, I picked that up for a bit. But um, past few weeks, I really haven't been playing much of anything. <laughs> Yawn away. And when when I I guess when I I talk as much as I am on here, I don't know why it just makes me yawn a lot. I can't explain it. Oh. Maybe another sip of water will help because my throat is getting dry. So anyway, what are you guys' plans for the weekend? Um, the only thing I know for sure I'm doing, uh, like I said a few minutes ago, is I'm going to um, I'm going to start priming all of the parts for the Titanic model so I can start painting away on that. And I've got the wooden decks for that model as well, so that's going to take away a whole lot of painting time. All I have to do is glue those wooden decks to the model. And that's done, so that will decrease the painting time by a lot. Oh, took a hit there. Let's see how much time we have left on the footage. Oh, we, we still got plenty of time. Will says, my plan is to play modded Skyrim on my PS4 all day. Okay. <clears throat> I'll, so I'll probably, I'm going to try and knock out as much on the Titanic model this weekend as I can. That way I can move on to one of the other two ships. Matt says, not sure what my plans are this weekend. <clears throat> Actually, might catch a movie tomorrow, too. There's a, um, there's a new movie. Um, for those of you who don't know me... Uh, very well. I'm also a, a big horror fan. That's why we did horror streams the whole month of Halloween. Um, there's this movie called Night Swim. 
that just came out in the theaters. It's funny. It seems every year starts off with some type of horror movie that I want to watch. Uh, last year it was Megan. Um, and this one this year, I forget what happened the year before. But I, I would not be surprised if I find myself in the movie theater uh, tomorrow. Uh, Matt, if the weather is good, I'm hoping to go shoot with my camera, but I doubt it will be sunny. Yeah, probably not. Um, it pretty much rained the entire day today. I expect it to continue to be that way uh, for most of the weekend. That's a good one. Um, I know it's not history related, but any movies... Uh, or games that you guys are looking forward to in 2024. Now there's a Star Wars TV show coming out called The Acolyte that I'm interested in. Looks like North Carolina's all out here by itself. Needs to find some uh, some action. May have to pick up warships too. That way we can start getting uh, some newer uh, footage uh, for the live streams. Uh, Wolf says, no games or movies I'm interested in. Hmm. Uh, Wolf says, the game I want to play won't release until 2025. Um what uh what game is that wolf but matt says been thinking of building a new desktop pc gotta clean up in my room first it's been, i know we've been focusing a lot on models um Matt, are you still wanting to get the uh, Lego Titanic model? Uh, Wolf Monster Hunter Wilds uh, is the game he's looking forward to. I've never heard of that. I know they're finally releasing a college football game uh, this year after uh, 10 years without one. I'm really excited about that. It's the only thing I can think of off the top of my head I'll definitely be playing. Uh, Matt types, yes, in all caps. <laughs> yes to the Lego Titanic. Yeah, that thing is massive. Huh. I've seen the box for it in person. That will be a project. Maybe the lighthouse, if you let me keep it at your place. Um, that depends, Matt. Um, as you know, um, I'm very limited on space, so um, we'll see. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. Oh, and look at what we have here. We are in Belfast, Ireland. And it's the early 20th century. That can only mean one thing. Uh, Wolf, well, I posted the game's reveal trailer on Discord. Okay, cool. I will, uh, I'll check it out after the live stream. Michael, um, not sure what my plans are for the rest of the evenings, but I um, think that uh, I might take in a movie or something. I'm not sure. I can't really do anything else to any of the models um, at the moment. Well, I mean, I suppose I could piece the hulls together, but, I mean, it, it doesn't matter right now. Like, they don't have to be done this very minute. Now, the main thing I need to do is get outside so I can prime uh, the parts for the Titanic. 
Matt says, my cousin told me she went to Ireland for work. Didn't even know. Hmm. So I've, I've told you guys already what my dream vacation would be, and I'll say it again, um, even though it's not going to happen this year, or who knows or if it will ever happen, but my dream vacation would be to go to Belfast for a week, you know, fly to Belfast, spend a week there, um, go to, uh, you know, the Titanic Museum that's there, um, you know, the Harlan and Wolf, you know, because uh, the the uh, the big um, I'm having a uh, a brain fart here. The uh, the dry dock that Titanic was built in. What we're looking at right here on the left, that's still there, and you can go view it. So that's you know that's the kind of stuff I want to see. Uh, the Nomadic, the last surviving White Star ship in existence, is there. I want to see that. Um. So yeah, spend a week in Belfast, take in all the historic stuff involving Titanic. Book a transatlantic passage on the Queen Mary II from Belfast to New York. So almost sailing, you know, the same route that Titanic would have sailed. And then when you get to New York, spend a week in New York. That would be my dream uh, vacation. Uh, well, if you could watch a documentary on the Battle of Jutland, or maybe the Battle of Tsushima, uh, Tsushima. yeah, I could do something like that. Because uh, I was gonna, I was saving some of my um, some of my YouTube channel stuff that you know my uh, the guys I watched that uh, put some new content out. I was saving some of that stuff for the weekend, but. I got bored last night and I decided to watch all of that. Well, all but one of them. I got one more of Mike Brady's videos to watch. And um, from there, I'll be caught up on his content. And I'm already caught up on another uh, creator that I watch a lot of. Hmm, yeah, a good documentary might be a good idea. I can't wait for Honor and Glory to uh, to uh, do some more with uh, their game as well. Might have to get some more. Uh, might have to actually just kind of explore the, sh the interior of Titanic again. Maybe next week's stream because... Haven't done that in a very, very long time. So, uh, might be cool to walk around inside the ship. We've been walking around the ship, uh, like you see here, uh, on the outside for a, a number of times now. So, uh, might be time to actually load up Honor and Glory, maybe do that next week, and uh, explore the interior of the ship. Uh, Wolf, the entire journey of the Russian 2nd Pacific Squadron is so interesting and weird. Wolf, did you ever um, did you ever get a chance to check out that movie I told you about that uh, features the Nimitz, uh, The Final Countdown? I think you would really dig that movie. Uh, if, you, if you have Peacock, it's on Peacock. Will says they started in the Baltic and ended in the Pacific. Hmm. Interesting. Tell you what I wouldn't mind watching again is that um, Greyhound, the one with Tom Hanks, said that was filmed on the kid. That was a good movie. I wish you could buy that movie. That way I don't have to subscribe to Apple server. I don't like subscribing to all these different streaming services. You know, I've got Peacock and I'm good with just that. You know, by the time you're done subscribing to all these services you want, you might as well pay for regular cable. 
I want to just buy the movie so I can watch it whenever I want. Uh, Wolf says, I haven't watched the film yet. If you ever get a chance, check it out. I, it's, it's, it's a really cool film. I mean, I, in, if you don't remember, uh, the premise of it is uh, the Nimitz uh, is sent back in time to June, no, to, excuse me, to December 6th, 1941, the day before Pearl Harbor. And when they finally realize what's happening, it, you have, you're faced with a, with a question. Do you change history and prevent Pearl Harbor from happening? Or do you let history play out as it was intended to? It's a great what if, you know, scenario type of movie. Yes, I see you. Uh, you see, you guys are posting to Discord. I'm gonna check out all the uh, the Discord posts uh, as soon as the stream ends, which is actually gonna be pretty soon. Cause uh, in fact, we've got ten minutes of the footage left. We are coming up on the uh, the one hour mark. In fact, I'll go ahead and uh, pimp out so, uh, our content thing as uh, as I always do towards the end of the stream. Um, now that the holidays are over, we are back to our weekly schedule, which is um, all content is released Monday through Friday. Central Standard Time. We have a quiz question that comes out each day. It's usually ship related. Uh, those are at 9 a.m. Then we have a uh, the random poll of the day, which can be about anything, you know, comics, movies, history, whatever. Uh, those come out at 10 o'clock every day. Uh, Matt, I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, did your internet go out again, Matt? Um, we have our video short of the day, which is at 11 a.m. every day. We have one weekly video that comes out every Friday morning at 7 a.m. And we do our HistoChat podcast here every Friday at 7 p.m. And again, those times are all Central Standard U.S. time. Uh, internet cut out again. I need to get that looked at one day. Yep, yep, because um, that's one of the things that really hinders you when you try to stream, when your internet's cutting out on you. You need to stream some truck sim again. Uh, but do it like late in the evenings, that way I have something that I can watch and fall asleep to. <laughs> Okay, so, yep, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right there. It is uh, uh, it is 8 o'clock, so we're at the one-hour mark. Uh, well, it says, I got a good quiz idea. How many sister ships did USS California have? That is a good quiz question, Wolf. Um, admittedly, I don't know the answer off the top of my head, but um, if you will... Remind me of that uh, on the Discord, either in the ship's channel or uh, PM it to me, and I can put that in the, uh, I can make that one of the quiz questions for next week. Matt, I actually went to shoot a vlog yesterday. I need to edit it and upload it soon. Yeah, you absolutely should. Let's see. Oops, Matt, I deleted one of your messages by accident. Um, it was not intentional, so don't freak out. <laughs> uh, Wolf says, okay, good stream. I was trying to do something else, Matt, and uh, I accidentally deleted one of your messages. <laughs> you did not do anything wrong, so don't panic. <laughs> okay, guys, so yes, uh, that is it for this week. Um, I thank you guys, as always, for attending. Uh, Matt, Wolf, uh, Mr. Golden, if you're still out there. Um, we'll be back next week again at a regular time, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. 
Thanks again for watching, everyone. And until the meantime, hold on. Might not uh, be finished just quite yet. Uh, Matt says, might do that tomorrow since I'm all caught up. Okay, cool. Go for that. Uh, one more thing before we go. Um, I will do a little quick reveal of something here that's been sitting in front of me for the past hour. Here is uh, Here we go. 401 is under construction. She's got the hull is assembled, propeller shafts, and rudder are in place. Again, number 401. You guys should know which one's 401. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks again. Have a good night. And until the next time, as always, of course, drive safely.